Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki. Welcome to another Money Making Versus video. In this video, we're going to be going over two fairly similar requirement Slayer creatures. And yet again, we're doing Slayer creatures. Again, a big part of this is a lot of the monsters that you can camp for money are Slayer creatures. And there aren't a whole lot of non-Slayer requirement creatures that are good for this. So that's why we're going to be continuing on this trend. As always, I do want to say thank you to these two comments for the suggestion. The reason why I did Spiritual Mages versus Gargoyles is because these two monsters out of these four monsters to pick from are by far the most comparable in terms of how much money you get from them, what the XP rates are, as well as the requirements. Ganondorf Beasts have a much higher requirement and Skeletal Wyverns are much worse money than these two, which is why I picked from two different comments, but continue to comment those and if I pick yours, it will be shown in the next time I do one of these videos. So let's go ahead and get into these two and see exactly how much money you can make per hour killing spiritual mages and gargoyles and what the XP and what the requirements, what setup you should be using to camp them. So first of all, we'll look at the requirements for the gargoyles. The only requirement that you have to have is level 75 slayer. I'd also recommend about level 75 magic in order to get decent kill speeds on them and to buy the ability to deliver killing blows fast from a slayer monster. This will save you so much time and so much pain. The XP is about 345k per hour. That's magic plus constitution. That's not just magic XP. And that is with me using level 80 weapons and extreme magic potions. I did not use any combat familiar, so obviously if you are killing them with level 90 magic weapons and a steel titan, it's going to be quite a bit faster. If you're killing them with a staff of light and level 80 magic, it's going to be slower. But that's just kind of a general XP right in the middle line to go by. And now for the requirements for the spiritual mages, you do need level 83 slayer in order to kill them. So that is a jump from the gargoyles requirement of only level 75 slayer, but very, very doable if you're motivated to unlock a really good money making task. I would also recommend to have 80 range and at least a little 80 range weapon because there's no great alternatives to use a little 75 weapon. So Royal Crossbow, Chaotic Crossbow, Xerite Bow, they all work great. A Tune Crystal Bow is another option if you have access to Elf City. 330k XP per hour, that is range plus constitution. Yet again, that's me using a tier 80 range weapon without a combat familiar. You can definitely get much more experience than that if you're using a Steel Titan or less if you're using a Black Salamander or a Crystal Bow, although those options still do work at the Spiritual Mages and they still do fairly well. And you won't be severely handicapped with how much money you can make if you are using lower level weapons. They work okay. First of all, we will be going over the requirements for the gargoyles, and as always, as I'll try to do during these type of videos, I will be using slightly, only slightly lower requirement gear than I would typically use, so I'm going with the level 80 magic weapons. You don't need seismics to kill these and make good money. Some other alternatives are chaotic staff, staff of light, polypore staff, any of those work completely fine. Gargoyles have little to no defense against magic. Also, I have a blood necklace equipped. This is one of the best two items in the game for Slayer, in my opinion. It is absolutely amazing and can remove your need for soul split. If you don't have one and you have any new prayer, make sure to bring some prayer potions for soul split. If you don't have either, I would recommend to bring possibly a bunyip as a good option or just bring some food and you should be set. I also have the robes of subjugation in the Slayer Helm. I'm not on Slayer Task during this video, but if you are, make sure you bring that. And then for the inventory, make sure that you have a rock hammer as well as purchase the ability to deliver killing blows faster from a Slayer Master, which will greatly increase your speed of killing the gargoyles. Gem bag is very nice as they drop a ton of gems. Potions to boost your magic stats. Again, prayer potions if you need to soul split. I have a yak. If you don't have a yak, you can bring alchemy runes. You can also bring a spring cleaner. And unfortunately, like many Slayer creatures, your money will be a lot better if you do have a spring cleaner. Anyone who does not have a spring cleaner is at a pretty severe disadvantage. And that's unfortunate, but that is the way that it is at a lot of these Slayer type of creatures. But during this video, I will not be using a spring cleaner and you can still make some decent money without one. For the Spiritual Mages, kind of a similar styled setup to the Gargoyles. I'm using a Royal Crossbow. I do bring Royal Bolts. It's not shown in this picture, but trust me, I do have them equipped in the video, as well as Armadil Armor. Slayer Helm again, if you are on Slayer Task, but I won't be in this video. Vampirism Orc can be really nice here. I also have a Shard of Zeros equipped. If you do not own a Shard of Zeros, equip either a Nex item, or if you have Ascension Crossbows, that can work for God Wars Protection. Or you will need either a Zamorak item and a Ceridoman item or some other form of God Wars protection to make sure that you're not attacked by everyone and piled. Again, in my inventory, I have a gem bag, not nearly as useful here, but still handy to bring. Stat boosting potions, prayer potions if you need to soul split. If you have a blood necklace, you will not need the prayer potions. However, that's enough healing, which is why it's so awesome. Teleport to God Wars Dungeon. Yet again with the Spiritual Mages, you're at a pretty big disadvantage if you don't have a Spring Cleaner. 
you have a spring cleaner, bring them. You can still make good money without them, but it's definitely better profit if you do have a spring cleaner. So make sure to bring along that if you happen to own one of them. Okay, we can finally get to what it's like killing the gargoyles. Unfortunately, with the gargoyles and spiritual mages, they don't drop anything cool. You're going to get a lot of really decent, consistent drops, tons and tons of alkables or stuff that you can make with the pack yak or unfortunately crush with a spring cleaner if you own one and they're so good, but I made sure to go without one during this video and the gargoyles are really, really easy to kill. I prefer to kill them in the Slayer Tower. You can kill them in Curdle's Dungeon as well if you're on task. However, I find this to be the best place because another thing you can do is uh, not shown in this initial clip, but you can pick up a Slayer contract near the base of the tower and earn a little bit of extra Slayer XP and profit either during your Slayer task or during your campage of the Gargoyles, and that will add an extra bit of profit to doing it. So I'd really recommend to pick one up if you happen to kill the Gargoyles here. And uh, after one hour, that's about how much XP that I got just running around picking everything up which is why the spring cleaner is beneficial. You don't have to run around if you have one, but the gargoyles die so fast to magic, it just takes them out. I made sure to sunshine as much as possible. You definitely want to take advantage of that. And uh, the gargoyles are relatively simple and easy. No crazy drops other than the mystic robe tops, but all the rune items, all the adamant items, and all the noted stuff that I picked up really, really add up to some nice profit after killing gargoyles for a while. And now we go do these spiritual mages. Now you do kill these in God Wars Dungeon, so make sure you have your God Wars Dungeon protection equipped so you don't get piled and destroyed by a whole bunch of dudes. And it's never fun when that happens, but I like to kill the Ceredomon mages in the Ceredomon area. So to access this area, you do need to have level 70 agility. But if you don't have level 70 agility for whatever reason, don't fear, because there are two other areas where you can kill them. You can kill them in the Bandos area to the northwestern part of the dungeon, requires level 70 strength. Or you can kill them in the Zamorakian area, northeastern part of the dungeon, requires level 70 constitution. I would definitely recommend to go to the Zamorakian area if you don't have 70 agility. But if you do have 70 agility, this is the place to go. And the reason for that is because they're much more compact in this area than they are in the other two feasible areas to kill them in the God Wars dungeon. They're just very spread out in the Zamorakian area. It's still a decent place to kill them, but there is a little bit more running around involved if you choose to kill them there. Anyway, the only downside to Spiritual Mage is they're pretty good range XP. They're very, very good money for how easy they are to kill. Only downside I can see to them personally is you do have to run around a lot to pick up all the drops. Again, if you have a spring cleaner, this is not an issue. But running around so much does kind of hurt your XP and your GP gain. So that's the main downside to killing spiritual mages, but they do drop a ton of alkable stuff. To my knowledge, this is definitely one of the top two or three money in the game in terms of just how much they drop in alkable. So it's very, very good for Iron Men as well. And uh, overall, you'll get a ton of battle staffs. They alk for about 9k each and lots of rune items as well. Potentially even some dragon boots and ceramic scales. It all adds up to become great, great profit killing these mages. Okay, so now we're going into the price checks. And first of all, I will price check all the loot from the gargoyles. Tons of alkable items, lots and lots of gems, which is why you bring a gem bag. And all of that cash, well, the gargoyles do drop some coin drops, but most of that cash is from completing Slayer contracts, which is why I'd recommend to do them. You can complete three Slayer contracts in an hour, killing them with level 80 magic weapons. Each one is 70k or so, and it adds up. So overall, a little bit over 3 mil profit killing the gargoyles. Again, this is only with level 80 weapons. This is not using a combat familiar, and this is taking the time to run around and pick up every single rune item. So even without being able to kill them at max speed, still very good money and very low requirements as well. All you need is level 75 Slayer, and you can make this. And now it's time for the mages. Unfortunately, during the hour, I did not pick up a ceramic scale. So every single time you get one of those, it does add to your profit by about 250, 300k. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But even without one, some pretty good money. All of those battle staffs really add up. And if you alk them, they do alk for even more value. So if you don't have a pack yak, yes, it does take slightly more time to alk the battle staff than it does to bank it with the pack yak. But you can also get up to about 1k more GP than you would selling it on the Grand Exchange. So that's one thing to keep in mind as well. Overall, 2.8 mil an hour. So no ceramic scale, but still very solid. Very comparable to the gargoyles. Okay, that's about all for this video. I am completely gargoyled out at this point. I imagine you guys will too. There is, of course, a lot of information to go over, but hopefully you know everything that you need to know about these two monsters. And if you haven't given either one a shot and you're struggling to know how to make money using your combat stats, these are two good options if you are kind of a mid-tier level player. You can make some decent cash there without having to go through the struggle of frost dragons or whatever you had happened to be using for money previously. 
Anyway, I will see you guys next time, and don't forget to leave your suggestions for the next time we do one of these money-making videos in the comments below, and your comment will be shown in video if it's picked. That's all from me, though. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Farewell.